fall inspired or more so warm nourishing foods that I like to eat during this season, but also prioritizing protein. Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do yet another what I eat in a day video but it's going to be more fall inspired because this past week in Florida it actually has been incredibly cold and I know when I say it's cold it probably is not even cold to some people in other states especially up north but apparently it's just going to kick right back up within the next couple days but we're going to take advantage of it while it's cold and I thought I would just pick up my camera and just show you some fall inspired or more so warm nourishing foods that I like to eat during this season but also prioritizing protein so I do like to make sure I hit my protein intake or protein macro intake for the day because I still obviously want to maintain and build muscle so that is what I'm going to show you guys in today's video but I probably should do this disclaimer real quick and I know I should do it before every single video but I just feel like it goes without saying that when I do these videos, in no way am I saying that if you eat exactly like me, you're gonna look like me. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, if you watch any of my other What I Eat In A Day videos, I don't ever really show my portions or more so like how much I'm eating. If I get seconds, I don't really show that or thirds, I don't really show that only because, again, everybody's body's different, so what works best for me may not work for you. But when you see these meals, I hope it just inspires you to try them out because I love them so, so much. So I have to head out and go to the grocery store and get some stuff for today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sean and I are going to a chili cook-off with some friends. So I'm going to be making some chili. And then after, we are going to a corn maze. Really excited for that. And just to get in the fall vibe by going out doing these fall-inspired activities with friends and eating these yummy meals, so. So for my first snack of the day, I'm having some bone broth. And if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I absolutely love bone broth for so many reasons. One, it is such an easy and convenient way to get your protein because, for example, as you guys see on the screen, this tiny packet has 16 grams of protein. That is absolutely insane. But two, most importantly, bone broth is amazing for your gut health. And you know what they say, when your gut is good, your skin is good, your hair is good, your energy is going to be good, and so much more. And so I absolutely love and recommend Dr. Kelly Ann's bone broth. I have been taking this brand for 
at least two years now when our house was being built and we lived with my parents, my mom would actually come home with these and I would drink at least one a day. So I have been loving this brand for so, so long. And so it's such an honor to be working with them in today's video. So thank you so much, Dr. Kelly Ann, for sponsoring today's video. So they just released a super yummy flavor and it is their miso mushroom flavor. And it actually has no soy, by the way, but again, like I said earlier, it has 16 grams of protein per serving, only 75 calories and less than one gram of carbs. It has no fat, no sugar, no cholesterol, and it's made with grass-fed bovine collagen. And so you literally just add hot water and mix it up and it's ready to go. So for my snack today, I'm adding some green onions and some mushrooms just to enhance the flavor even more already just alone it's so yummy I also added some gluten-free crackers on the side because I did not have some white rice sadly but if you guys didn't know I'm actually a quarter Japanese and growing up I loved miso soup and so this flavor actually tastes almost exactly like the soups that I had growing up so I could not recommend it enough but if you don't like that miso flavor, they actually have tons of other bone broth flavors as well as their original bone broth. And if you guys watch to the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you another little meal that I absolutely love that incorporates a different flavor of their bone broth. So make sure you guys watch to the end of this video. But if you guys want, I do have a discount code. I'll have it up on the screen now and down below in the description box so that you can save some money on some bone broth. And I could, again, not recommend it enough love 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 this brand so so much so head to the website look at all their flavors use the code to save some money and I promise you won't regret it all right so it's lunchtime and I am starving I've been editing these past few hours so this is literally making my mouth water so I have some leftover shepherd's pie I know it looks like a lot but I have to like smush it to get it evenly heated up if that makes sense and then I have a salad as my green starter if you guys watch this video it should be up on the screen I try to have a green starter before every meal because that will help any blood sugar spikes or preventing huge blood sugar spikes so I'm gonna have this salad and then this homemade dressing that I made literally the easiest um, recipe ever. I'll put it up on the screen now if you guys want to try it. So yummy. And obviously when you think of fall, you think of pies. I know typically a lot of people think of like sweet pies, but I think shepherd's pie does still give the fall vibe that we're trying to go for for today's meals. So I'm gonna eat this and get right back to editing. All right, so for dinner, I was in the mood for something very warm, very nourishing, but most importantly, very nutrient dense. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a soup because during the season, I love trying a new soup every single week. And so what I did is I literally just grabbed all the veggies that I had in my fridge, chopped them up, threw it in a pot with some ground turkey and two packets of Dr. Kelly Ann's rosemary thyme bone broth and oh with also like a pinch of pepper 
And oh my goodness, this is seriously the most flavorful soup I've ever had yet. But most importantly, it was so nutrient dense with all the different veggies and the bone broth, of course. So not only is it nutrient dense, but this soup was super high in protein and it didn't even take me 30 minutes to make it. And then last but definitely not least for dessert, I had a protein hot cocoa, which is another fun way during the season to increase your protein intake. I literally just took some chocolate protein powder, mixed it with some warm milk, and then topped it with some marshmallows, and it was so, so yummy and warm and soothing while I watched some movies with my husband. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys were inspired by some of these meals and I hope you just enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already so that you don't miss out on fun videos like this. But until then, I will see you or talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.